Every two seconds in the United States, someone needs blood. One fifth of the nation's entire blood supply is used during a heart surgery. Blood transfusions are not only costly, but they can pose risks for patients. Now some hospitals in the U.S. are significantly reducing transfusion rates during heart surgery. Harriet White has a new aortic valve, a new lease on life, and she's feeling great even though she just had open heart surgery. I'm thrilled that I didn't need a transfusion. It's just one more thing that can go wrong. The Society of Thoracic Surgeons has issued new guidelines to help hospitals cut back on transfusions during aortic valve surgery. Measures include rationing IV fluids, controlling blood thinners, and cell saving. Using devices so that if there's some bleeding during surgery, the blood is not sent to a sucker that's discarded. It's sent to a recycling type device so you can have that blood reinfused later. Memorial Regional Hospital in Hollywood, Florida is one of a number of hospitals in the U.S. using blood conservation measures. Memorial dramatically reduced the percentage of heart surgery patients getting transfusions from 59% in 2006 to 19% in 2011. The benefits are significant. The people who get a blood transfusion in generally uh, in general do uh, do more poorly. And they have a higher risk of death, they have a higher risk of infection. As a result, Dr. Brooker says patients like Harriet do better overall, and blood can be saved for those who really need it. In a recently published study, researchers found patients who had the surgery without transfusion were almost two times less likely to have a major complication.